Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Andover, Minnesota in the U.S. I'm here today to bring you another live paper crafting class. I'm so excited. Um, I haven't been broadcasting for a couple weeks now because I've been traveling overseas and I'm excited to share with you some of the products that I got on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip that we just went on last week. Um, but first I'm going to share with you a wonderful card and it's actually a take on a card that I've done in the past. It was a dragonfly closure card, I called it. Um, but this one is going to be a butterfly closure card. First of all, I just want to let you know that I am live on July 17th at 11 a.m. Central Time. Um, so, and I'm broadcasting on Facebook. So if you're watching this on Facebook at another time, just know that it's probably not live. Um, but feel free to comment anyways, because I do catch those comments and I read through, through all of them. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube later on, comment away as well. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think of the product project that I'm going to share with you. It's, it's going to be a fun one. I can't wait. Um, the beauty of live broadcasting is being able to interact. So we are like, we're on a 30 second delay or something like that. So, so far I haven't seen any comments come through. Let me just see if I can get, uh, I'm going to press a button here. We, oh, there we go. <laughs> Yay. Yay. I'm not alone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Hi, Pam. Hi, Carol. And I love seeing names over and over again, week after week, because I feel like I'm, I get to know you. I mean, I know that we don't see each other in person, but it, it makes me feel like I've got a class that I'm like in, in the midst of lots of people and I'm teaching to you while you're here in my home. So thank you for commenting. It makes me feel loved. <laughs> Yay. Hi, Sandy from Wisconsin. Hi, Karen. Thank you for sharing. Now, when you comment, by the way, um, on the Facebook Live or after the Facebook Live is done, um, you can get entered into a prize drawing. So please comment away. Tell me where you're from. Tell me about yourself. Tell me um, a joke. <laughs> Tell me how the weather is. It's hot here. I can't believe it. It's super hot here in Minnesota. We came home and I think it was hotter here when we got off the plane than it was in Rome. Although um, Europe was having a heat wave for a while too. Anyways, I'm glad to see so many familiar names. There's Karen Ziegel. She's my kindergarten friend. We've known each other since kindergarten. Hi, Karen. I'm so glad that you're with us. Yay. Um, let's see. What else do I want to tell you? Oh, and if you share, if you share the broadcast, just mention that you shared because that gets you entered into the prize drawing too. And we'll do a prize drawing, um, one prize drawing today from this video, and then we'll do another one the next time I broadcast. So that means we have a prize drawing to do from, oh gosh, when was that one? That was from June 3rd. That's how long it's been. It's been 14 days. It's been two weeks. <laughs> um, did Nick raise enough money for his trip? Thank you for that question. I think that was Pam that asked that. Let me scroll back. Yes, Pam. Um, he did not yet, but that was just a portion of the fundraising. To go to Disney, it takes a lot, but I thank all of you who were able to help out in his fundraising efforts that he did last month towards that. Um, He'll be selling candy bars again and pizza and all kinds of fun things. We were just talking about that last night. And if you want to know news about my family, I know some of you, um, you know, are curious. Luke is having surgery. <laughs> so some of we get to know each other, don't we? Luke is having surgery tomorrow. So I'm doing this broadcast today. And then, um, and then my baby goes, <laughs> my youngest, goes into surgery tomorrow. He has a hernia. Can you believe it? He's only 12. I guess it's hereditary because my mom has had them. I've had I've had one, <laughs> so eek. Anyways, so send good wishes his way now. <laughs> There's always something, right? Life is busy. But today, let's get going here. Um, let me think here. I want to tell you we're going to do the dragonfly, a version of the dragonfly closure card. So let me bring you to my desktop here so you can see. I'm going to adjust my picture. There we go. Okay, so this is the card I shared um, I want to say it was like over a year and a half ago and thank you for the welcome backs you guys thank you so much um, this was the card that I shared a while back and I've loved it we did a box version of it as well so the dragonfly stays on the inside base of the card but because of the hole the wings fold up and come through and so you can see the dragonfly on the inside and on the outside of the card. So we're going to do another version of this card using current products because this little guy has retired. So has the paper. So has some of these embellishments and stamp set images. And I loved this card so much. I loved making it. I loved sharing it. 
that I had to figure out what to do with it. So we're gonna do a butterfly version. Now the butterfly is slightly larger than the dragonfly, so we had to adjust some things on the card. I'm gonna share with you some measurements first. So let's close that guy back up and set that aside. And I'm gonna bring you to my computer now. Okay, so here you can see that we've got uh, butter, uh, let's see here. The basic black cardstock, whisper white cardstock, so some basic things just like we had on the other card. Then we're gonna bring in the Perennial Essence designer paper and some designer vellum that goes with it because we can have some colored vellum on this card. Fun, fun, fun. Um, thank you for the prayers. Thanks, Vicki, you're so sweet. Um, and then we're also gonna use some regular vellum. So we're bringing in those for the consumable products. And then on the um, other supplies, we're gonna use the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set because who doesn't love that stamp set? <laughs> that is just a gorgeous stamp set. And we're just using one sentiment from it, so you could really use any stamp set for this card um, to put a little sentiment on the inside. But I'm in love with this stamp set, and the script is so pretty. We'll also be using the Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad, uh, the Butterfly Dyes, they're called Butterfly Beauty, and then the classic label punch and the leaf punch. And then we'll be using some regular tools like the take your pick, the snail adhesive, glue dots. Um, of course, you need a block to you know mount your stamp, all that sort of thing. The extra little embellishments will be the pearl basic jewels and the petal pink rhinestone gems. Um, some other tools that we have down here, I've listed them without capital letters because currently Stampin' Up! is in transition. We do not have a paper cutter and a die cutting machine to offer right now, but I'll be using the versions that we had before, so I'll be using the paper trimmer and the Big Shot for this. Okay, let's go ahead and come back to, get my computer out of the way there. Okay, we're back. We're back, I put my computer behind me. <laughs> um, we're back to the table and let me sh introduce to you. Thank you for the well wishes, Sarah. Thanks you guys. Oh my gosh, Greece was so much fun. And we went to Italy beforehand too. I hope that you check out my blog because there are so many um, photos that I've shared and have yet to share um, from that trip. It was amazing. I took my sister this time and I, I wanna cry because I feel like the trip brought us closer together. It was an amazing trip. We had such a great time. So this is the Perennial Essence Designer Paper. It is drop dead gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. It has a Monet, well, impressionistic um, art design to it. And we're gonna take one of the pieces um, from that, one of the sheets, and cut it to size. So um, these are the pieces that I pulled out. And basically you can get several cards out of one sheet because they're only four inches tall. So let's go ahead and cut our second piece. This one I think is three and, a, yeah, three and an eighth by four. And then we're gonna do um, another one that is four and a quarter by four, uh, five and a quarter. Let's see, four and a quarter, sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. Sorry about that, you guys. And you know what, I think I'm gonna do it from this side because this side looks better to me. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got those cut, and now let's cut the base of our card. Now the base of our card, if you looked at the measurements, um, they seem confusing, but as I walk you through it, it'll make sense to you. So we're gonna cut the cardstock, which is eight and a half by 11. We're gonna cut it in half this way, and then we'll put a score line through it. So half of 11 is five inches, or sorry, five and a half. I'm really off on my measurements today. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So there's the five inch, there's the five and a half inch mark. And we're using the thick whisper white because this is going to be a base of papers, um, the base of the card. Hi, Julie. Another friend from elementary school is watching. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Karen. And hi, Catherine. Uh, temps in the 90s all week. Oh, wow. I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? I think it's hot all over the globe. Um, okay, so now we're gonna rotate this piece and we're gonna bring it in so that we're we're scoring halfway for the eight and a half inch measurement. And halfway from eight and a half is four and a quarter. So we'll put a score line in there. And that's gonna be a guide for us. So we're gonna keep it here. We're gonna bring our trimmer blade by lifting up this little handle here. We're gonna bring our trimmer blade to the five inch mark. And we're gonna set it down and pull back. And then we're gonna bring it up to the half inch mark. And we're gonna press it down and go forward. So what we're doing is we're going to remove 
some little sections on the side of the front of our card. So let's go ahead and fold that in half for just a minute because I want to make sure that we have the correct side for the front of our card. Is the list of measurements saved on a PDF? Thank you, Vicki, for asking that question. I do not, I don't have time to make PDFs. I wish I did. Um, <laughs> I'm a full-time mom and a full-time Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So what I do is I, put, I post them to my blog um, a day or three days later at the most. I'll be, I'll be sharing this on Saturday the 20th. And so you should be able to just kind of copy and paste the directions and the measurements from there. And then you can kind of drag photos off of there if you wanted to create your own PDF. I just, sorry, it's just one thing I don't make time for. Anyways, hope that's okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm looking at the front of the paper. And if you can see here, I can see the back side of the card base on this, um, when I'm facing it this way. When I put it this way, I can't. So this is what I want to be the front of my card. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it back in and I'm gonna position it a half inch in. So I'm bringing it to the half inch mark here and I'm gonna slice just the front up to that score line to remove this portion. Because again, this is gonna be the front of our card and we wanna have a narrower section on the front of our card, okay? If it looks like I'm not looking directly at the camera, by the way, I am looking a little bit off to the right because I'm trying to catch um, comments, I am so bad at reading comments, but hopefully I will catch your comments. Um, now we're gonna rotate it around this way, especially if you have a question. We're gonna rotate around this way, bring it to the half inch mark again, and we're gonna press it down right at that score line, and we're gonna cut away again. So now we've removed a half inch on the right and the left side of the front of our card, okay? Um, the other pieces that you can cut if you want to, you don't have to, um, but you can cut, you know, your vellum from the perennial essence vellum. This is the pink color. Uh, you could certainly choose the yellow or another color if you want to, but I thought the pink really went well with the perennial essence designer paper piece that I chose. And then the black, and these are three by four inch pieces, but you don't have to because you're going to be die cutting them anyways. So there's no other cutting, I don't think. Yeah, there's no other cutting that we need to do. So I'm gonna set our trimmer behind me and let's go ahead and add this piece to the inside of our card. So I'm using snail adhesive and snail adhesive, it's one of our awesome basic adhesives. You can buy refills for it and you just pop it in when you're ready to use a new one. You pull the cap back, press and pull, press and pull. And you know, you only need a little bit in each corner if you're just gonna have a layer. Now this piece here we're going to put a little bit more on. So um, we want it kind of to be slathered on there because we don't want it to loosen up too much. So here we go. <laughs> it's kind of all over. And that one's going to go off to the left still leaving the same amount uh, about an eighth of an inch around these edges here. So I'm going to bring it up to the camera here so you can see there's an eighth of an inch all the way around on the inside and an eighth of an inch on these three sides. Now, I'm gonna lift this up, I forgot to do that. I do that every time I make this card. I'm gonna lift this corner up because we're gonna tuck some leaves behind there. So let's go ahead and bring in a couple of our scraps. This is another um, color of vellum from the Perennial Essence. This is from, hi, hi Sharon. <laughs> Sharon Harris from Texas. Love you, Sharon. Um, this piece is uh, another one from the Perennial Essence vellum. This is our green color from there. And I think it's kind of, I think it's comparable to old olive. I can't remember. Eek. Oh well. <laughs> I'll, I'll know when I look it up later. So we're gonna punch a leaf from that. You can see I've punched quite a few from one little strip there. And then we're gonna punch a leaf from our regular vellum cardstock. And we only need one of each per card. And again, we have the pink in the perennial essence vellum and then there's a yellow color too. So after I've punched those, I want to layer them up and I have to look at my card, my cheat card. Okay, so I'm gonna layer them up with kind of a lopsided look like that and um, add a glue dot to the back. Actually, I think I'm gonna go like this to kind of give it a, there we go. I'm gonna give it a different look there. And then we wanna add a glue dot to the stem area like 
like that. And when you add a glue dot, just stick your item right on the glue dot and then you'll be able to um, grab it easier than trying to do it with your fingers. And then that just gets tucked right here. Amy is missing fast fuse. <laughs> yeah, I still have some. I, I love it too. I, I think there was an issue with it. Um, you know, it, was, it wasn't as user-friendly as Snail. Snail is pretty user-friendly, but tear and tape, Amy, um, that, that tends to take care of that really strong bond. Snail isn't as strong, I have to admit, but you can do a burnishing technique. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you press with like a bone folder or even your hand or whatever, and you give it a little pressure and heat, you're burnishing that adhesive, and it does give a much stronger bond to your snail adhesive. I'm gonna scroll up here. I feel like I'm missing some comments. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, thanks, Cindy. She's missed my class. I've missed doing my classes. It's been two weeks. Crazy. Two weeks doesn't seem like a long time, but it does for me. I love teaching. Okay, now we're going to take our um, dies. And this is the Butterfly Beauty Thinlets dies. So this is what they look like. There's a ton of them. There we go. You can see there's a whole bunch. Now, two of these dies, these large ones, layer on top of each other. And you can see that one is finer than the other. This one has a little bit more detail. This one is more like an underneath layer. So um, we're gonna crank those through onto these pieces. So the one that we want to do with the wider part of the butterfly is with the pink vellum. And you can see I'm just positioning the large butterfly over that vellum. And then the one that we're gonna do with this one is the black cardstock. Again, same large butterfly. So let's set these off to the side, bring in our big shot. And I'm only gonna die cut one because I do have some pre-cut or pre, yeah, pre-die cut pieces. And um, I don't wanna take up too much time with this, but it's super easy to die cut. Uh, for the big shot machine, again, there, there are big shots out there on the market. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, you can certainly get the big shot out there in craft stores or you can wait to see what Stampin' Up! comes out with. But for the big shot, you need your platform. Um, I'm using the magnetic platform, so I don't have to worry about the thin die adapter. And then I put a cutting mat and then I put my paper and my dies and make sure that butterfly is all within the paper and then another cutting mat on top and you just crank it through. And the pressure of the rollers that are within this section here, um, press the blade of the dies through the paper and it's an amazing, magical thing. <laughs> so you can see, let's see if I can peel this up and off. Again, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but, um, oh, it's sticking in there. I should've used wax paper. <laughs> Sometimes vellum gets a little stuck in here. Let's crank it through one more time. Of course, it would happen on a live. Did you guys notice too that all of a sudden I went dark on my face? I have a bulb I need to replace, I guess. <laughs> oh well, I'm in the shadows. Okay, there, now it's going a little bit better here. I need to get my little dye brush. Oh my gosh, hang on a minute. Oh my goodness sake, sorry about that. So I'm gonna use the dye brush and I'm gonna press it out of the dye here so you can see. So you can see the look that you're getting. I definitely need to shim this too. Wow, we're gonna learn all kinds of things today. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna die cut in front of you guys and look at what happened. Okay, so a shim is basically like um, an extra layer of cardstock. I just stick that underneath the first cutting mat. Yeah, we need to get this puppy cut out here because I wanna prove to you that you can do it. <laughs> this one obviously has some issues. Okay, sometimes that happens. Most of the time it does not. This is actually perfect now. Okay, we're gonna press this through. And you can see all the little pieces flying in the background there. We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this done. <laughs> How many of you are laughing in the background? You're feeling for me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, the light went off again. Wow, fun video. We're having all kinds of fun things happen. Okay, hang on. Yay, okay, now it's coming out. So this little guy here is gonna be attached to several other butterflies that are around the outside edge, as you can see. 
that took way longer than it was supposed to. <laughs> and so then what you'll do is you, you'll, you'll use your scissors or your paper snips and you'll come in and you'll just cut off the extra parts, okay? And you'll do that all the way around. And then you'll come up with, and we'll just shove those off to the side here. Look at that, painless, ta-da! <laughs> all right, so add dye brush to your list of supplies. There's our two pieces that we need. Move all of that off to the side as well. Okay, now we're gonna do our punching. So we're gonna punch with the classic label punch. Let me grab that one. And we're gonna position it upside down. Using your punches upside down help you to see where you're positioning your punch. So we're gonna insert it, the light's on again. We're gonna insert it into our card. You know what's funny about this? I have to tell you, I've been telling my husband, there's a light in that lamp behind me and then this one and it keeps on going flickering and I've been telling him it's flickering it's flickering and he doesn't believe me so now I have video proof <laughs> so we're gonna position this into our card all the way on that left side of the front layer of our card so that you can see about a quarter of an inch of paper there so an eighth of an inch of the white and an eighth of an inch of the designer paper and now we're gonna punch it down you're punching through both of those layers, which is why we wanted to make sure that there was plenty of adhesive on there so that this wasn't kind of pulling away. And because this butterfly is much bigger than that hole, we have to lengthen the hole. So we're going to put the punch in one more time, and this time we're going to slide it down so that we can see about an eighth of, I'm sorry, a quarter of an inch on this side. Okay? All right. Oh. <laughs> Karen goes, it's fun because it shows it just doesn't happen to me. Yes, I know. And you know, it's, it, I don't know. It makes it, I don't know, more like a party, I guess, when there's problems on a video. Oh, yes. Thank you, Catherine. Okay, so we have our butterfly and we're going to attach these two together. So we're going to put the black one on top of the pink one. And the best adhesive for that, I feel, are the glue dots. So without my reading glasses on, <laughs> we're going to get these glue dots put on the back side of the middle of the butterfly body. I don't know, this light thing is crazy. I have to get that fixed before the next video, don't I? Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on, oh my goodness sakes, there we go. Okay, so our butterfly is now layered and you can see the depth of that because we've got the two different <laughs> layers. Um, so that pink is shining through. And now we want to do another layer of glue dots. Thank you to Vicki Spicer who came and die cut a bunch of these butterflies for me because I actually sent these cards out or I gave these cards to some demonstrators in my Stampin' Anonymous team when we were on the on the Greek Isles incentive trip. Okay, so you want to stick the antenna in there first. So you're going to get the antenna into the hole and then you're going to position it so the wings don't go beyond the top and the bottom of that punch and make sure he's centered or she's centered in there. Okay? So that's that's that. Now the next step, um, we want to stamp. Actually we can stamp at the end here. Um, the next step is to take our Pearls. There we go. Our pearls and our petal pink rhinestones. I only have four of these left, but this is what they look like in the full sheet. This is going to be part of the prize, um, one of the prizes that I hand out. So if you are commenting, you're getting in on the prize drawing for that. Okay, so let's pull out our pearls and let's start embellishing this. I'm going to use my take your pick tool for that. So we'll grab a square one, we'll put that right about there on the body of the butterfly, and then we'll take the diamond one and we'll put it a little bit lower. And that just emphasizes the body of our butterfly. Now if you do not live in the U.S., by the way, I can't send product for a prize, but I can certainly send you a card that I've made. Um, so just 
take note that even if I draw your name, you could, you could get something in the mail, right? You would get something in the mail. You have to make sure that you message me though. Okay, so now we're gonna fold our wings up like that so that our butterfly can go through like that. So there is the fun um, opening and closing of that card. And then the last thing that we want to do, I think I have a little injured butterfly here though. I feel bad for him. I might have to trim off a little portion of the pink. He's not coming all the way through there. Um, but the next thing we have to do is add a little bit of pearls to the front. So we'll take a medium sized pearl. We'll add that about there and then two smaller ones and we'll add those there. This take your pick tool is amazing. You can you can do all kinds of things with it. It's, it's got a little pokey end. It's got a spatula on the other side. You can add a dye brush attachment, which I just bought to this end. This part here helps to pick up, if I can take the cap off. <laughs> this is gummy, so it helps to pick up like sequins and stuff. It's an amazing tool. Okay, then the stamping is the last part. Yeah, I have a little injured butterfly here. I might have to replace that wing. Bummer, oopsie. Okay, now on the inside, we're gonna stamp our sentiment, which is thinking of you. Now don't leave, you guys, because I, I know some of you wait until I, I'm done with the actual demonstration, but I have some things to show you after this. Just got back from the, the Greek Isles incentive trip, like I was telling you, and um, I have new product in my hands. Yay, you know what, let's test this out on scrap paper. Make sure we're doing this correctly here. That's a little tilted up to the right. Let's try it a little more this way. Okay, that looks good. Hopefully I got it straight. Pretty good. <laughs> and there is the finished butterfly closure card. Butterfly beauty closure card. And eventually the wings, um, especially if you don't have an injury on one of the wings, it becomes super smooth. So this is my other version. I did the um, sequin or the petal pink rhinestones a little differently on that one. But you can see it just is nice and smooth. It opens and it closes super fast and smooth. It's a beautiful card. I love it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's put these out here so you can see them a little bit longer. And then we'll zoom in a little bit here too. Oops. There you go. Ta-da! So that is the Butterfly Beauty closure card. Are you guys ready to see some um, new holiday products? So on the Greek, Greek Isles trip, they spoil us. Um, they gave us a bunch of um, pillow gifts and prizes and all attendee giveaways. Uh, it's, it's an amazing time on these trips. And so I came home with a mass load of goodies that took up probably a whole other suitcase full. So if you want to hop over to my blog, I think this is the one that tells, yeah, stampyourartout.com. I just blogged a bunch of photos today and they, um, at the bottom you can see three photos because I couldn't even put them all in one, but you can see three photos that include a bunch of the, well, all the gifts that Stampin' Up! gave us. So make sure you check that out. And then, um, they of course gave us, oops, that's way too close. There we go. They of course gave us a copy of the new catalog, which I cannot open. I can't open it and share it to you um, online, but just know that this is going to debut on September 4th, and you'll be able to see an online version of it then. Um, otherwise, if you have a demonstrator that lives near you, or you have a demonstrator that you order from, you can get the catalog from them eventually. and all demonstrators, whether you're new to becoming a demonstrator soon or you are one right now, all demonstrators get to pre-order from this catalog. I believe pretty much we can pre-order anything from the catalog starting August 1st. So that's a good reason to get the starter kit. Are you ready to see some new products? Okay, let's start with this pile here. There's gonna be a medley of products and <laughs> it's kind of in the kit section of the catalog and it's called the most wonderful time product medley, and it includes uh, a stamp set, it includes tinsel, it includes these fun stick-on stars that are kind of 3D, it includes um, 
some fun card base layers, which are these here. Uh, it includes a bunch of dies. I'll show you the stamp set and dies soon. It includes some little cardstock sticker sheets and they're really fun. And then of course this designer paper that has metallic on one side and um, non-metallic on the other side. I'm looking at the catalog so I can make sure I don't miss out on telling you that. And then um, here are the dies that go with that. So they're the most wonderful time dies. And they go with this stamp set here. And it's so, so pretty. Um, this is the medley that we got to do our make and takes with that I didn't finish. <laughs> so I can't show you those. Okay, another um, product is gonna be these, uh, what are they called, copper gleaming, let's see, brightly gleaming foil elements. And they're in a copper color and they're really thin coppery sheets that are like just fun accents. They're, they look like this on every single sheet. I don't know how many sheets there are. Um, there's 50 pieces all together, so I don't know. I, if I open it up, it's gonna take too long, but just know that you get a lot of sheets of that. Um, the designer paper, I think it's like 10 sheets. I wanna say 10. I might be lying. This designer paper is called Come Together, and it's got a nice autumn look to it, so you can see all the designs. <laughs> dark and light, dark and light. Oh my gosh, that light in front of me is crazy. Ooh, look at that one. It looks like a piece of wood, love it. So lots of fun designs in the Come Together paper. And then this one is a favorite by a lot of the demonstrators in my group because I shared this with them a couple nights ago. This is called Twelve Tidings um, designer paper. It's in garden green, real red, and very vanilla. And you can see all the different designs that are in that. Um, lots of outdoor winter scenes um, that are northern winter, like winter winter, right? And then um, just kind of some fun like patterns like the stripes and the, and the gingham. Another pack that they gave us is not a designer paper, but it's called designer acetate. And it's very unique. There's four sheets in here, two of each design, and they're kind of a silver or a, a real harsh silver, like kind of a metal look, but they have um, a fun look to them. They're see-through, they're acetate, but they have this opaque design to them. So this one kind of looks like cheese. <laughs> and this one looks like um, cracked earth, I guess. Kind of like paint that has hardened and cracked. So that is called Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. Punches. Some new punches are coming out. So these two are going to be together. They are ornaments obviously and then there's a tree punch and I don't have the ornament stamp set that was not given to us so I can't share that with you but there's a, a beautiful stamp set that coordinates with this and this punch coordinates with a stamp set that they gave us so I can share that with you here it is it's called <laughs> and the lights are out again it's called perfectly plaid and you can see that there's four different trees in there that you could punch um, with that punch and some really nice sentiments in there. That's gonna be a fun bundle to get. Okay, what else do we have? We have another set of dies that I do not have the matching set to, but you can imagine what it looks like. These dies are called Cup of Cheers dies and they have um, some fun little hot cocoa cups as Nancy Forsberg pointed out. Perfect for hot cocoa or coffee or whatever you wanna put in there. But then of course it's got some Christmassy little elements to it too, like a candy cane and some um, poinsettia, um, you know, little bows, some fun little accents to it. And then another set of dies that I got. <laughs> they spoil us, I have to tell you, they spoil us. And this is just the Stampin' Up! product, plus they give us like all these logo items like jackets and bags and, and I got a makeup bag and it's just super fun. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Um, this one's called Ornate Frames. Now it's in the Halloween section of the catalog, um, but I could see these frames being used for anything really. Um, lots of different images, lots of different sentiments, um, some scrolly little designs on the outside of these frames. They're so, so fun. Um, this was a prize that I won, so I was one of the lucky 30-some that got that one. 
Tags, Tags, Tags is a stamp set that will be new in the holiday catalog. You can see that there's Halloween tags, there's Valentine tags, and there's Christmas ones. And um, you stamp three at once, and you can die cut three at once with the coordinating dies. And then this one has some beautiful dies that go with it, but I can't share them with you because I don't have them. Um, but the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set, lots of nice small Christmas sentiments, and the dies are amazing. Um, snowflakes and swirls and really pretty things. And then the last stamp set that I have is Twall Christmas, and that coordinates with the red and green um, designer paper that I showed you. So it's in that suite of products, and it's got the beautiful cardinal in there. I know, I can see your comments coming through. This is so exciting that you guys are loving this stuff. Isn't it fun to get the sneak peeks? I also got some ribbon. Oh, we're in the dark again. <laughs> I also got some ribbon. Um, this is a combo ribbon pack that it's kind of like that um, Magnolia Lane combo ribbon pack and this one's called Come Together. It has some twine in Cajun Craze color and then it has uh, another ribbon that with kind of a silky edge on either side in the crumb cake color. So very pretty stuff. Um, glitter. There's some new glitter and this glitter doesn't have kind of that iridescent -y kind of look. It has more of a snow look which is why they call it Ice Stampin' Glitter. Um, it's, it's clear and white and clear and white. It is really pretty. It looks like snow. So um, you don't have those little blue hues and violet hues in there. It's just pure snow, pure ice. It's gonna be beautiful for those winter scenes. And the last thing is something super simple, but amazing. And when this product was given to us, Everyone was just like, this is awesome. It answered a lot of our, a lot of our requests. So um, dimensionals, but in black. So you can hide your dimensionals in your projects. They don't show up um, when they're close to an edge of a, of a layer or whatever. If you're using darker cardstock, they just, they're a little bit easier to hide on those darker cardstock types of projects. So dark dimensionals and you get, it's a combo pack, you get two, sheets of the regular size and two sheets of the mini size. Black dimensionals, yay! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Patricia. Um, you might have to go out and get a part-time job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's, it's crazy how much fun stuff there is coming out. Oops, there we go. I'm still in the dark. I have shadows now. Oh, oh well, I'll go like this. There. <laughs> Crazy light. I'm going to get that fixed before the next time I broadcast. So um, some things to keep in mind as I'm finishing up this video. I'm going to post this on my blog. The video will be posted on my blog and on YouTube on Saturday, July 20th, hopefully the morning of. Um, new products from the holiday catalog, again, are going to be available to all September 4th um, to demonstrators August 1st. And um, if you are not a demonstrator, you can certainly get the starter kit because there's a super great deal called Extra Extra. And you can read all about it on my blog. Um, at the bottom of every post, I have a little link to the Extra Extra. Um, basically, you get extra product in your kit this month and next month. So it's a great time to sign up and get the starter kit. Stampyourart.com, by the way. Um, if you are not a demonstrator, and you don't order from any other demonstrator, I please, I invite you to please check out my blog. Um, oops, that's the wrong one, that's Facebook. You guys are there right now. But check out my blog at stampyourartout.com and click on the shop button to see a lot of the products that I mentioned today. Again, um, if you want to rewatch the video, you certainly can so that you can catch those items in that list in, in the supply list at the beginning. And you can find you can find them in the online store then. Um, otherwise, wait for Saturday on my blog post and I'll have links to them. So I'm going to look at my computer now and set it up so that we can do a prize drawing. I hope that some of you have shared with me. Uh, oh, there's light again. <laughs> I hope that you've shared with me, made a comment. Thank you for the prayers for Luke. Um, yes, again, those of, you, those of you that came late, it, it never ends, right? Um, we have... Uh, Lots going on in our family still. My son, my youngest is gonna have surgery tomorrow on his hernia and he's going to be healed. He's a little nervous, so he appreciates all the good wishes. Um, so let's go to my blog here, or my um, computer here, and let's see if I can tune you guys in. 
Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and click on, so I'm on the home page of Stamp Your Art Out with Rachel Facebook page, which is where you're finding this video. And along the side here, I'm gonna click on videos. This is where you can find a whole bunch of videos from the past. The one that's currently playing is right here. And see there's a slight delay. And then here they are, all are, all are if you wanna catch um, ones that I've done in the past. So we're gonna click on last times video, which is on June 3rd. And we're gonna copy the link on that and bring it into a website that's called commentpicker.com. And we'll just enter that link here. And we're gonna draw a prize winner to get the second set of large rhinestones and retired um, satin ribbon. This is our Whisper White satin ribbon, stitch satin ribbon. And these are our jewels, uh, basic jewels, large rhinestones. So, ta-da. So the, the second winner from that we're drawing. Let's go ahead and click that button. You can go ahead and do little drum rolls in the background. I won't be able to hear you, but you can <laughs> you can do that if you wish. Yes, he's young and strong. Yes, I agree, Catherine. Thank you. I, I believe he'll be fine too, but he's so nervous. He is so nervous, the poor guy. Okay, we had 165 unique commenters, which means 165 people made at least one comment during that um, length of time. So now we click the start button. And the winner, um, again, this is the hard part because this does not link. Shannon Miller, congrats to you. The link does not go to their actual comment anymore. It goes to the video, but for some reason does not pull up their actual, oh, it did this time. Yay, I can comment to her. I will leave a comment in just a minute, but let's go back. Um, yay, I can contact Shannon now. Let's go back to this video and I'm gonna do a reload. So if you haven't commented yet, there we go, we're reloading it. And we're gonna click on the link and everybody who's commented up until this point, if you've commented at least once, you get a chance at the prize drawing. Okay, so let's enter that new link. I'm so glad to be back. This is so much fun, you guys, I've missed you. I have missed you so much. We have 121 people who have commented so far. Now, if you're looking at, to see, because somebody asked the question one time, it doesn't look like there's 121 people on, or it looks like there's more or there's less. People come and go throughout a live video, and so um, you know people get busy or they can only catch it one time. So, so far this is telling me that 121 people have commented at least once. So we're gonna take those 121, click the start button. I didn't even tell you what the prize choice was. I get so excited. <laughs> well, anyways, Lisa Wilson, who said, welcome back to me. Thank you, Lisa. You are going to be our first winner. And let's see if I can pull up your name exactly. It did, it went right to your name. I'm so happy. Comment picker made some fixes. Okay, so let's go back to me. Um, in fact, let's go back to the table and I can show you those prizes. And then Lisa, you get to pick, okay? So I'm setting up the table here. Let's zoom in a bit. Ooh, the lighting's kind of funky. Let's see if it tunes in a little bit better here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to do some adjustments with the lighting in here, but it's, it's kind of yellowish looking. That's okay. Okay, so let's bring it up here. So I have two packs, two full packs of those petal pink rhinestones. So one winner this week will get a pack and the next winner next week when I broadcast again on July 24th, will get the other pack. That second winner will get that. The second winner from last week or last video on June 3rd gets this here. Okay, so then along with this, um, who is it? Shan Lisa Wilson. Lisa Wilson, you also get to pick a second portion of your prize, and you get to pick from three things. So you get to pick some pillow boxes, their craft. Um, these are current products, by the way. You get to pick from the, um, what are they called? The, the trimmer blade refills. And then I also have a full roll of the uh, Granny Apple Green um, textured weave ribbon. So you let me know what you want and um, I will send them your way. So congratulations to our winners.
Thank you all for joining me. Again, I'm going to broadcast next week on July 24th. Look for links in the description because once I post this, I'm going to copy and paste some links in there so you can have easy access to a lot of the things that I told you about. And remember that this video and photos of my product projects will go live on my blog at stampyourartout.com on Saturday, July 20th. All right, I think that's it. I think that's it. So thank you all for joining me. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye.